Live from Los Angeles, here's Everyday Woman. Welcome back to Everyday Woman. So, ladies, I want to talk about what it's like to be different in a culture that expects you to follow the norm beyond race. And of course, including race. Mm -hmm. You know, Amber, you're you're different. Well, I'm different. You you are. <laughs> <laughs> you're different. I'm African American woman. You no, you you've gone above and beyond what was you know maybe expected of you in mm -hmm. ways, and you've really been a true trailblazer in your community. And mm -hmm. you know, I mean, what I was that like for you? First of all, I stand on shoulders of a lot of African American women and men. Um, I think for me. And my family, they want to stay in their small city, and I just saw a bigger picture. Um, That's what I meant when I said you're different. Yeah. You saw the bigger well, picture. They know I'm crazy, though. My family know I'm crazy. <laughs> but I mean, my thing is, I don't want to be different. I mean, I, I like being different, but I, I think normal to me is different. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, and that's, I know. I kind of. Yeah. I grew up in a military family, so we moved around a lot, oh. and so there wasn't really some a norm. There wasn't a norm. Nothing right. was normal when I was growing up, I found out that I wasn't normal by talking to normal people. <laughs> so, that's how I learned. Um, but I mean, I'm being um, a mix. Sometimes mm -hmm. I can blend into... What do you, what do you mix with? Well, I'm Korean and Irish. Wow. But when I, li I lived in a Latin community, um, when I first came to, came to LA and I went to the grocery store and everyone was Spanish, and I, I was just trying to pick fruit. I didn't understand what some of the things were. Spanish. They spoke to me in Spanish and I go, I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. And this one man, got so upset with me and going off in Spanish. And I'm looking at him like, I, I don't speak Spanish. I'm sorry, I, did I say something? Mm -hmm. And he goes, why are you trying to be somebody you're not? Why do you think you're trying to be white? Why are you letting go of your culture? Why are you this and this and this? And I go, he thought it was half Spanish. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And I, I remember looking at him going, I'm, I'm Korean. And I had to speak in Korean. I was like, no, I'm no, And he's looking at me like, wow. You know, and he kind of walked away. Huh. Well, now that, I mean, now that you're talking about the Latino community, mm -hmm. I think in the Latino community, um, what's the older generation? It's like you have to be married. You have to have children. Mm -hmm. And it's like um, I always get that when I go to parties. Ay, mija, no estás casada todavía. No tienes hijos. Ay, you know. <laughs> so, you know, which I, it, it already passed. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I get offended. I'm like, I don't want to have children. I don't want to get married right now. You know. Mm -hmm. What do you mean it already passed? Like That's the, what they tell you. you well, I worry about me. Well, I worry about that, and I always tell my mom. I was like, feel like a spinster because I grew up in the Midwest in a very conservative community where most of the people were married by the age of 22, had a baby by 25, wow. and I left four days after college, moved cross country. I'm not married. I don't have a child. I'm not going to have 30 wondering what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. And I'm a black sheep. I'm like a crazy spinster. Mm -hmm. But you know what, though? I've always, you know, even just within my family, I've always been considered the one who, uh, you know what, depending on depending on the mood of how they're addressing me, I'm either the one that marches to the beat of my own drum, mm -hmm. or you know, if they're in a less you know, benevolent mood, then I'm the crazy one. Mm -hmm. um, but I've always been comfortable doing my own thing. But I think African American culture is different. Oh, um, absolutely. We we don't we look at life like be happy, go after what it is you need to do, and take care of your business. And so I think sometimes we get the stereotype of saying, you know what, oh, African Americans don't do this, or African Americans don't do that. And because I think that's a myth. Sometimes we, sometimes we do step out the boundaries and we go for it, you know? You know what, you're absolutely right, because I can't tell you how many people looked at me with a side eye question mark when I told them that this, this past February I, I went to Japan to go snowboarding. They're like, wait a minute. <laughs> You went all the way. Wait, I mean, did they look at you like that? Did they look at you like that? I went to Japan to go snowboarding. I went to Japan to go snowboarding. I thought they're different, but hey, man, okay, that's what you want to do. You know, I mean, I go camping, and I can't tell you. Right. I can't tell you how difficult it is to get some of my African American friends yeah. to go camping with me. It is. You know, but I think, of other I think races. our generation now is a little bit different because we have a little more freedom and um, we see life a little bit different instead True. of in the confined segregation kind of. You know, you know that, I have that, to say know, that, that social media in that way, I think, has been so eye-opening mm -hmm. because true. we get to see how other other cultures live. Not mm -hmm. just yeah, other true. cultures, but other cultures get to see what we no, do. No, no, no. Right. They don't really get to see it. They get to see an idealized version. They get to see what we present to of them. Of what we present to them. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Not, yeah, anymore. Not, not anymore. anymore. Not anymore. But you know what, though? Not so, with us, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think some of the younger ones are kind of turning into the TMI generation. So with them, with the young, yeah. 
Yeah, but the younger ones, you get on their social media, it's like, why would you tell that to people? Well, yeah. they, I mean, they just, well, they're too everything. Open. I know, they're, they're, there's right. a lot of things, but there's good things too. True. Well, like us. It, it, like right. us. But it is interesting too because in some ways then instead of people wanting to be different, they're seeing what they want to do and what they want to be like everybody else. Mm. I think I want to raise my children with their culture, letting them know who they are, but then also letting them know they're not bound to right. the structure yeah. that society put on them. You can go and you can be whoever you want to be mm -hmm. and still mm -hmm. be proud African American and still be who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. More when we return. Yeah. After this commercial break, more Everyway Woman. It's no 